Hi, my name is Lucy, and I had a crazy first relationship with a guy. It was very romantic, until he basically tried to kidnap me. His name was Adam, and we first met when he just came up to me and asked me out. Just like that. He looked so cool and confident, and I was surprised at how every other guy wasn't nearly as brave as he was. He was different and mysterious. He didn't like to talk about his family or life, and it was clear that it was kind of difficult. Instead of taking me out to cafes and restaurants, he would manage to get us into concerts with his older friends. And he wasn't afraid of anything. Once, we snuck onto someone's private property because there wasn't a lot of light and he wanted to show me the stars. This was the place where he first kissed me. And we wouldn't just talk about normal stuff. Instead, our conversations were deeper than that. Like, about the meaning of life. Adam really wanted life to be something more than school, university, and then a job. He wanted it to be a big adventure. And I felt like I agreed with him completely. If someone said something to Adam about his looks or attitude, he wouldn't care. One day, he was taking me back home and it was pretty late. My father noticed and came outside to ask who Adam was. He said to me that it wasn't okay to be arriving back home so late, and Adam told him that I could do whatever I wanted with my life. Dad looked at him suspiciously and we went inside. He said that he didn't want me to see Adam anymore because he was a bad influence. I really wanted to prove that Adam was just misunderstood. So I planned a dinner with him and my parents. They dressed up nicely, and Adam showed up in a leather jacket with a lot of pins on it, like anarchy symbols and stuff like that. My parents kept asking him questions, like what he wanted to do with his life after school, and Adam kept brushing them off, talking about he just wants to be free. Dad got angry and was saying that Adam should at least have some kind of plan, and Adam argued back. We hadn't even started eating by this point when Adam stood up and said, I'm out of here, and laughed. I was just sitting there, shocked by what had just happened. My parents forbid me to see him anymore. And I was asking them to give him a second chance, but they kept saying no. When Adam found out, he was furious, so he asked me if I wanted to run away with him. I was scared of that. But he kept saying how this kind of life wasn't for us. He wanted adventure. So one day, he just showed up with a car and texted me that this was my last chance. I could either go with him or he would leave alone, although he didn't want to. So I packed my bag really fast and quietly left my house. His car was nice. Too nice for him to have it. I even thought for a second that he had stolen it. Soon he started driving and my heart was pumping because this was the craziest thing I had ever done in my life. Adam kept calming me down, saying how this would be the life we had both dreamed of and how everybody secretly wanted it but was too afraid to actually do it. Once we were outside of the city, my dad started to call me. I was hesitant about answering, and Adam gave me a judgmental look, so I decided to ignore the call. And the second one. And the third one. By this point, I was hesitant about running away. We didn't even have a plan. We were just winging it. I got very anxious and said, let's go back. Adam didn't say anything and kept driving. I started to call my father, and Adam raised his voice and said that I shouldn't do that. I continued, and he suddenly tried to take it away from me with his one free hand. Right at the moment that he did that, his car jerked to the left into the oncoming lane, and I started shouting, What are you doing? 
Adam kept trying to take my phone away, and the whole time the car was moving chaotically from one side to the other, and I was afraid of what could happen, and of Adam. I shouted, please stop, you're scaring me. By this time, my dad was already on the phone, and I was hearing him asking me loudly, what is happening? By this point, Adam had finally gotten my phone away from me, and he hung up on my dad. He opened the window and threw my phone up. It was then that I realized that Adam was crazy and dangerous. I shouted, stop the car. And he suddenly got very calm and said, listen, I love you. And because of that, I'm trying to do what's best for you. I got dizzy from fear. Like I literally couldn't see straight and I could hardly breathe. Adam then took my hand into his, but I didn't find this comforting at all. I removed my hand, and at this point, I felt like this was a kidnapping. And so, without thinking, I suddenly leaned closer to the wheel and jerked it. Adam lost control. We made a few spins, and then we ended up in a ditch close to the road. I didn't get injured, and Adam hit his leg. I immediately jumped from the car and ran back, trying to find my phone, hoping that it wasn't broken. Adam was all right, but he couldn't run because his leg was hurting, so he was limping after me. He was saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and I would shout, get away from me. By this time, I realized that there was no chance for me to find my phone. I realized how dangerous it was to be there alone with Adam in the middle of nowhere. He was still walking toward me slowly, and now he was scared, and he was saying, Oh, my dad is going to be so mad. I was surprised by this, but I didn't want to talk with him about it. I wanted to sit down and start crying. I knew that that wasn't the right decision either. Since Adam was shocked and scared, I demanded that he give me his phone so I could call my dad. He argued with me a little bit, but finally gave in. I called my dad and told him where I was. He arrived soon with the police, and I quietly sat down in our car without looking back. And Adam, as it turned out, Adam was from an extremely rich family, and he always got whatever he wanted. He made himself into this guy with a rebellious image, but it wasn't true. Afterward, he was in a lot of trouble, and his parents stopped letting him do whatever he wanted. It was the same with me, but I'm honestly okay with it. I started thinking about my parents, and how my dad was such a hard-working man. We barely made ends meet, but he was always loyal to my mom and very honest, the polar opposite of Adam. And I can honestly say that now I will really trust my parents' judgment about my life because, you know, sometimes they are right. Like this story if you found it scary or exciting and share it with your friends. Also, remember to stay safe because we have our entire lives ahead of us.